Up in the booth. All right, and here we go. We're at Women's Nationals here at Miami University. This is the fourth Q of matches today. Yeah, we got Illinois and we got Akron A's. We get a big, it's a big hit immediately. Um, Anybody want to commentate with 3 and 20, next throw. Active in the back. Active in the back, guys. Up to the corner. So both teams, almost pretty even in terms of man advantage. It's 4v5. Acker stepping up. Reset throw by Nicole Kudich. Pump fake, no, pump fake. They're, they are going to get that ball back. So it's going to be a 4v2 in terms of ball advantage. And a good catch by Alexa Schultz there. I expect a team throw coming up here. A team throw. Just barely misses a Buru. A team throw doesn't connect. Kudich with a reset. Nothing there. So with, so yeah, we got three fighting Illini versus a whole host of zips. So let's see if they are able to. Let's see if the Finding Illini is able to clutch this up, maybe. Because it should be even in terms of shot clock. Two balls to four. Good block by Kudich. Oh! As they hit the tripod. <laughs> Team throw. They get, yeah, they get a good hit there. That takes out Bartlett. So it's going to be two Finding Illini here. Against a whole host of Akron Zips. So let's see as Nicole Kudich goes down. Team throw. Just barely misses. Abby Emery trying to get that counter, but not quite going to get there. Woo! Got to pay attention there. <laughs> oh, and that's. Yeah, and Abby Emery is going to go out. That's a pretty big hit for the Fighting Illini here. Yep, finding Illini going to step up to the throw line. Oh, and a big hit. Taking out Alexa Schultz. That's huge. Huge play there. Reset throw by Nicholson. Woo! Yeah, you can hear Coach Adam. You can hear Coach Adam Pfeiffer saying, set up a team throw. Reset. Team throw. Not going to connect. Good dodge there. Long reset throw there. Nothing there. A little couple of re couple of solo throws. I don't know about that. Oh, and a big catch. I believe that was Stephanie Myers in the catch. Question mark. Go, go. Oh, and there we go. Hey, Phil, it's time for the stream. 6.35, thank you. So we got 6.35 left. That was a pretty long point. Let's see if Illinois is able to fight back a little bit. They kept it pretty close. But let's see if they can maybe get this next point here. Here we go. No throws off the rush. So we got a four balls to two advantage fighting Illini. Both teams should have even shot clocks here. Good reset by Kudich. Kudich with a pump fake. Looks like a 3-3 three to three even ball advantage. Excuse me, 5v1. Never mind, they just don't have any. 
Big team, though, takes out Cameron Gray. We got a 4v6 situation here. I want to see if maybe the Fighting Illini is able to make the plays when they need to. Yep, you hear Coach Adam Pfeiffer saying one reset throw. So, yep, so Fighting Illini doesn't have a count. I expect a team throw. And they are going to get the hit. So it's now down to three fighting Illini. It just seems like they haven't been able to make the plays they want to. But we'll see if that changes here. Anything can happen in this sport. Woo! <laughs> Gotta pay attention there. Oh, that's a hit. Taking out Alexis Schultz. And that's a pretty big hit. That's a pretty big, pretty good start. Let's see if they can keep it up. Team throw. Just barely. Oh, yeah, she did step out. Unfortunate. But it does happen. So we got 2v5 here. Even balls. And a catch by Abby Emery. Team throw. Doesn't connect. So we got the lone fighting Illini, Bartlett. She's a freshman. So let's see if she's able to make the make a big play here. Oh, and the cross. Yeah, and the cross by Stephanie Myers. That was really good from Akron there. So it's going to be a 2 nothing lead. I feel like if I'm the fighting Illini here, I try to get out of my comfort zone. You're down 2-0. Maybe you'd be a little more aggressive. But we'll see what they do here. We got just over four minutes left in the first half. So let's see if Illinois is able to step it up a little bit. See if they get a point. All right, here we go. Two throws off the rush. One is going to connect, taking out Nicole Kudich. But we do, we do have a team throw coming up here from the left side. Not going to connect. Good attempt on the team throw, just not on point. Big hit there. Taking out number 20. So... It's even, even ball advantage. We got five zips and four fighting Illini here. Oh, and a catch. Big catch there by Abby Emery. I said it before and I'll say it again. Abby Emery is a very underrated player. And she's really showing it in this tournament so far. Oh, and that's a drop ball. Oh, that's a catch by Alexa Schultz. So we got one fighting Illini against a whole host of zips. Good block. Oh! Almost with a hit there by Stephanie Myers with a great block protecting her, her teammate. So we got two before in balls. And oh, that's a big catch from Schultz. And here we go, they're off. Oh, quick kill off the rush. And the reset by Alexa Schultz, but. Yeah, one fighting line that goes down. So if I'm Illinois, I'm setting up a team throw right now. And they are gonna get the catch. Ebby Emery with the catch. See, a little miscommunication there. A little miscommunication from Illinois throwing two solo throws. So now they have only one ball, so they do not have a count. So 
Yeah, we got two Illinois players left against five Akron Zips. So let's see if they can be able to make a big play here. Oh, and the hit. Abby Emery goes down. So it even looks like even three, three and ball. No, four to two ball advantage in favor of Illinois. Good luck on the cross there. It looks like 4v2 right now. Let's see if if either Akron is able to close it or if Illinois makes a big play. A oh, little miscommunication there. I'm not sure that's what they wanted. But we're now probably going to see a team throw from Akron. It's not going to connect. Neither is that solo throw. Team throw? Just barely misses Alexa Schultz there. That would have been pretty big if they got her out, but... Oh, there's a ball in the middle. Akron will get that ball. Team throw, not gonna hit, not gonna connect. So even 3-3 in terms of balls. I, oh, big hit, and she stays alive. That's actually really big. So they have one ball, Akron with five. I'm going to expect a team throw. Good block there. Oh, that's a big hit. So that is 4 0 lead for Akron. We do have a running clock now. So the clock is going to run for the rest of this match unless there's a timeout. And here we go. Throw off the rush. That is going to take out Emery. So a big hit right off the bat here for Illinois. Let's see if they can capitalize on this momentum swing. Alexa Schultz with a pump fake. Both teams trade throws. But Akron is going to get both of those balls. That's a little unfortunate for Illinois. That was Cameron Gray with the reset. Oh, nice catch. Nicole Kudich goes down. That is a big catching out. So we got four zips, four fighting a lion eye. Let's see if Illinois is able to maybe capitalize on this momentum they have here. They got two of Akron's best players out. Oh, a big hit there. As that was Essence Bartlett that went down on that exchange. Good reset there, just to establish a shot clock. Schultz with the reset. Both teams play at a little more slower pace than I thought they would be. Oh, and that's a hit. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. That's Nora Danaher who goes out there. So we're going to have two Illinois players, and we got four zips. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't think she was expecting that to hit her. <laughs> so we got one fighting line I left. She's going to look for another reset. Oh, and a big catch. That was Addie Gamerick with a big catch there to give Akron a five-point lead. And remember, because we're past four to zero, this is a running clock, so. So next up on this court, it's gonna be Cleveland State and Akron B. So make sure to stay tuned for that exciting match. Here we go. Throw off the rush, nothing there. Akron seems like they're gonna set up a team throw here. Doesn't connect. Good luck. Alexa Schultz with a reset. Both teams trading reset throws. Just to establish a shot clock. Yep, that's going to be a hit. Gamerick goes down. Yeah, if I'm Illinois at this point, I just want to get the valuable experience. Get that experience up and just be prepared for bracket. Yep, yep, see Alexis Schultz setting up a team throw on the left side. Now this is a hit. Cameron Gray goes down. So four Illinois, oh! Both teams trade kills there. So it's three Illinois players against four Akron players. Team throw is going to take the hit. So we got two Illinois players left. They still have a shot clock. Oh my! What a catch! Oh my goodness! She caught that with her arm. That was crazy. Emily Nicholson goes down. So we got two zips left. We got Alexa Schultz and Abby Emery. Two of their best players. Reset by Schultz. Illinois has a good chance to get a point here on the board. So Illinois got to set up a team throw here. Good block. On Alexis Schultz with a nice catch on Cameron Gray. That brings back in uh, Addy Gamerick, the sophomore. I expect a cross here. Yep, cross comes, and there's another catch for Alexis Schultz. So we got one lone fighting Illini left. 